Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate some of the scripting abilities of uh, Python's PCB new. Unfortunately, uh, the schematic capture and the other utilities don't support Python, and it seems to only be supported in PCB new as of right now. Uh, there are some tricks to scripting uh, the component design and footprints and schematics that I may make future videos on if this has any uh, any views here. So here we are. Here we have our uh, our little uh, PCB new. Um, editor here, and um, I've got some components that are kind of misaligned. It's kind of a pain uh, to use the UI to get everything exactly aligned like you like you might want. And so what I've done is I've written some scripts just to aid in uh, in component placement. So uh, the way you open up the Python script editor is there's this um, this link right here on the toolbar. Then uh, the way I like to do things, I know some people build large frameworks, and there are some frameworks out there for KiCad, but I, I find those to be a little bit overwhelming, um, especially uh, sometimes if I need to write a script to do something, it means I'm in a hurry, and I don't want to have to sit there and learn somebody else's uh, framework. Um, and also, I like to, when I write my own scripts, I like to stay as close to the API. API as possible and not rely on something that may have limited support in the future unless it really offers a whole lot. And uh, so what I've got here is I've got this place components uh, dot py uh, script that I've written. And I know this seems uh, pretty lazy here, but in the first line, I just put the simple command that I would paste in the shell here to load these functions. So I'm going to go back over here to the shell, I'm going to paste this exec file and uh, and it has executed, and now I have access to the limited functions that are in the script. And so now what I've got here, I've got these uh, these MOSFETs here that are kind of, uh, yeah, they're they're kind of in a you know sloppily placed, and I I like for them to be nicely aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the place components relative mm function that I've written here. And what I do is, is I can put in, it takes a uh, list of components, relative x, relative y. And um, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take, I've got q2, q4, q6, and q8. I'd like to have them evenly spaced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type q2, q4, q6, and q8. And I'm just going to call split to turn them into a list. Um, and... Then uh, for relative x, I'm going to say, let me separate them by 15 millimeters. Y, I'm going to just say uh, 0. And let's, uh, let's see what happens here. And if you, in case you missed it, these are all nicely aligned. So I'm going to go back over here to my uh, script again. And I'm going to make a change here. Instead of that, I'm going to make them cascade downwards. Let's say, I'll make y negative 3 or upwards, I guess, sorry, uh, uh, positive and negative, I got confused here, so I'm going to switch that again, and fix it there, and then I'm going to go back here and put them exactly as I had, and now I'd like to take and put these little uh, resistors here, so I've got, um, oh, what is this one, uh, let's see, is that R, okay, so I've got R4, R9, R13, and R18. I'd like to have a line next to these. So what I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to start by the first one, and I'm going to say place component relative, and I'm going to say Q2 is going to be our reference, and then our uh, related one is going to be R4, and that's going to be Oh, uh, let's say x of negative 4 and y of 2. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's a little bit close. So um, I'll just I'll just open them up uh, by maybe 1 millimeter here. Okay, 3, 5. And there we have it. And so now, now I have uh, r4, 9, 13, and 18. So I'm just going to do the same spacing I had on the MOSFETs. Because these are based um, relative 
uh, to this first one and each other. So the next thing is, is the labels are a little bit ugly. And I know some of us like to have our silk screened where things don't look quite so haphazard and it can sometimes be very time consuming placing everything. So I also have this, uh, this method I've written, um, place component reference position. And that also can take a list just the same. So I'm going to say place component reference position. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to do those same uh, R4, R9, R13, R18. Dot split. And um, let's say X minus 2, Y0, and uh, center justify. Let's see how this works. OK, so now we have our reference positions. Uh, could possibly be a little bit closer. Now let's fix those uh, those references for those MOSFETs as well. So we're going to go back up here, Q2, Q4, Q6, and Q8. And since it's relative to center, I'm just going to take a guess here, negative 5, and we'll leave a Y at 0. And let's see how those look. Um, not too bad. I mean, we can you can certainly mess around with this and um, waste a lot of time trying to get everything just right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's, uh, that's it for the introduction, and I will post these uh, scripts um, online on my uh, GitHub when I get a chance. Uh, thanks for watching.